So, in the 1300s, when the white-skinned people were like, what the fuck are y'all doing coming here from town to town, like, thinking that you're going to do it? All of those wars that we love to watch, right? Like, all of the Viking and all of the creation of England that we really just, like, fall in love with <clears throat> is white violence. <laughs> And where you get to the creation of race, like that area was predominantly white people. And based on my other like spiritual theory, we know why, right? They mutated <clears throat> from the lepers. So like that was them just like war tearing through all of the people that look like them. So you guys are warring against each other, right? But now as the spoils get larger and larger and we're amassing lands, what the fuck does that look like, right? So you start forming things and you have your whole like little Roman army and this and the other thing. And there were black people in, black skinned people in these Roman armies, right? But then you're starting to look and you're like, wait, how do we separate this? Because we're the global majority. And when you start getting into that scarcity and hoarding mindset, you need to figure out how to keep it together, right? So you start creating things like a Catholic church. And you start taking everybody's practices that you've colonized, or should I say Christianized, and you move through and you put them up underneath one nation unto God. And so the Catholic church is formed by the Roman army. And, you know, you have... Like I told you to go look at the Papal Bull 1452 Doctrine of Discovery, but says they didn't discover America until 40 years later. But anyhow, um, this is how you get crusades and all of the other shit that they do. Um, and they just Christianized an entire globe. At one point in time, the entire, like 80% of the world was Catholic. That's not... That this, that's not suspicious. It doesn't seem suspicious to you. Currently, there are 40,000 various sects of Christianity. How many versions of worship in one God and a son do you need? So for me, that is what happened, is they were able to kind of create their world through the Catholic Church. Then you wound up like the Puritans really did like, you know, I got to get the hell away from here. They're violent. They were really trying to escape actual persecution, right? Like the Protestants, because it's like Catholic light. And like the Catholics were violent, violent because they were an army. So there you go. That's how it tied it all together. And the key to all of this is dismantling and decolonizing God.